Week 1 of the Pokemon Premier League is here. This week we're facing off against the legendary Uzi and his team, the Thunderclap Titans. Yeah, we really drew the short straw here. Uzi is definitely a tough opponent for a first game, so I'm super nervous about this one. But alas, I have done my best to concoct the best team I possibly can to try and beat Uzi. Uzi has a team of 10 Pokemon compared to our 12 and consists of the following. Gouging Fire, Enamorous Incarnate, Tinglu, Alomomola, Serena, Slowbro Galar, Kilowattrel, Lucario, Frostlass, and finally Zangoose. That's the team we have to try and conquer this week. It's definitely going to be tough. So, just a quick briefing on my team as follows. First, we have Palafin with the Assault Vest to take hits from the likes of Quick Draw, Slowbro, and Enamorous, and Kilowattrel. In theory, it sounded great, but I'm kind of regretting not running Choice Band for the damage. Ah well, too late now. Then we have Iron Moth with Booster Energy and Special Attack. I went with an all-out attacking moveset because it sounded good on paper. Let's see how it works out in battle. Third, we have Thunderous Therion with Weather Ball to take advantage of the rain and be immune to Kilowattrel's Electric Spam. Fourth, we have Corviknight with a standard defensive set to stop the likes of Lucario and Zangoose and to an extent gouging fire in the rain. Palasan seemed like a must with Terra Grass and also Stealth Frox to set up, etc. Lastly, we have Politoed to set up the rain and Haze to stop set up sweepers on Uzi's team. So there you have it, the team I rolled into week one with. Please bear with me as this is the first draft league I've been in since Auras, but I didn't have an assistant coach to work with like in the GBA. So this is all me and I'm a noob. If you want to check out my opponent and all the other coaches in the PPL this season, the links are in the description down below. So without further ado, I present to you all the week one battle against Uzi and the Thunderclap Titans. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Uzi. So they're going to lead off with Broly. The gouging fire as I led off with my Thunderous. Now, I led with Thunderous because I kind of figured Palafin was an obvious lead. So I figured they'd lead with Kilowattrel, but obviously it hasn't worked out that way. Um, so what we could do here is... I'm going to have to switch out, aren't I? Because this thing's a threat. Um, I'm going to go into Palace and my physical wall. And I, I'm, I'm pretty confident Palasan can take any hit from this gouging fire, that's for sure. So I didn't take a picture of the team either. I am not prepared for this at all. Anyway, Palasan comes in. What are we going to see? Dragon Dance. Okay, that's just turned scary. Real quick. They can't Terra, so I'm not really too fussed about this because I know Palasan can 1v1 this Gouging Fire pretty well. Because it's a threat, I'm going to go straight for the Earth Power. They do go for the Sunny Day to boost their um, Protosynthesis, which is scary. And that's going to boost their attack, which is even more scary. Uh, we go for an Earth Power, though. We get some nice chip off on the Gouging Fire. It's a two-shot, which is great. But they do have a berry. They have. I'm, I'm guessing it's citrus berry. No. It's a moringa berry. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm just going to go for another earth power here. They go for a morning sun, which is fine. Morning sun is going to obviously boost their health back to full with it being in the sun. Um, but they have sunny day, they have dragon ants, and they have a morning sun, which is interesting. So let's see how. Let's see if we just keep spamming earth powers because they're going to run out of morning suns eventually. They go for a flare blitz. Interesting. So that's going to probably KO us. Yeah, it does. But, recoil. Recoil. Plus Rocky Helmet. Makes these things susceptible. So, any anyway. Anyway. Oh, no. We're not, we're not Rocky Helmet on that. We're Rocky Helmet on the Corviknight. Never mind. Let's go Politone and get rid of that sun for a start. So, we're going to Chubb. Since their only attacking move is Flare Blitz, we've got the upper hand here. So, we get the Drizzle up. Um, which is going to take away their Protosynthesis. And now, I don't really see any point in... I, I'm going to go for an Ice Beam, because they might go for another Sunny Day. They go for another Sunny Day, which is great. That's a good job I didn't go for Weather Ball there, because otherwise I'd be hitting them with a Fire-type move. They're going to get their Protosynthesis in their attack again, which is scary. And um, we go for an Ice Beam, though. That's going to do a nice little bit of chip damage. Or not. Um, I should have I, I should have Encored, really. Let's go for a Haze and get rid of its Dragon Dancers, because I'm pretty sure we can take a um, Flare Blitz from this thing. So we're going to, they're going to go for a Morning Sun, which is fine. We go for a Haze. And that's going to clear away their stat changes, which is great. So, do we go for an Encore? I'm going to go for an Encore. They go for a Dragon Dance. Yeah, I thought they would. So we're going to Encore them into Dragon Dance and get a free switch into something else. Because um, we really need to get rid of this thing somehow. So Encore comes through. Encoring them into Dragon Dance is definitely going to be helpful. Um, and now we have to switch out. So I'm, I'm leaning towards the Iron Moth. Because we got rid of their special defense boost. So I'm, I'm leaning towards the Iron Moth. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Iron Moth switch. I think that is the way to go. Because Iron Moth does really well against their entire team. 
So they withdraw. They don't want to stay in and get Dragon Dance, uh, get locked into Dragon Dance. They're going to go into Undyne, which is going to be what? The Aloma Mola, which is fine. We go ahead and switch out, and we're going to go into good old-fashioned Iron Moth, who's going to have a boosted fire damage, but we're going to go for a Sludge Wave anyway. <sighs> so we get the booster energy in a special attack, it should be. Yeah, special attack, which is great. And now nothing on the team really wants to switch in on this attack. So I'm going to go for an energy ball. I don't, they don't terror with this thing, I don't think. So we go for an energy ball. And that's a two shot on the Aloma Mola, which is fantastic. They go for a Miracle. Very good play. Very good play by Uzi. Ah, that is a, wasn't expecting that at all. The Harsh Sunlight does fade. But I'm going to go into my Thunderous right now. Because here's the thing, they could be a Salt Vest. Because you can use Miracle and Counter with Assault Vest. But I'm pretty confident that Thunderbolt will KO. Because it's stab super effective. I could Nasty Plot. I'm going to Nasty Plot. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Nasty Plot. I'm going to say screw it and Nasty Plot. So they withdraw. What are they going to go into? Are they going to go into the Kilowattrol? Broly comes back in the Gouging Fire. That's fine. We didn't get our Self Rocks up, unfortunately. So I'll get my Nasty Plot up. And now they've got to be thinking... You know, they, they've got to be terrified right now. So let's go for... I think Weather Ball's our best option. So we go for a Weather Ball. We do outspeed, of course. It's not going to be boosted by Weather, so it's only base 50 power. But it's Nasty Plod, so it's going to do a lot of damage. They go for a Flare Blitz. That's going to take us right down to our Sash with a critical hit. No burn. No burn. That's good. So we get the Focus Sash. They're going to get the Recoil, which is great. And now I'm pretty confident a Weather Ball will KO from here. So I'm going to go for said Weather Ball and take this Gouging Fire out. So we go for a Weather Ball. It probably won't take him out. It's probably going to live on like 1 HP. No, it takes it out. So Gouging Fire is gone, which is great. That's a big threat to our team. And it's gone, which is fantastic. Now, once we get the Weather up, it's going to be up for good. Um, we are, unfortunately, 1 HP. So anything could take us out right now. Notably, Lucario with the Extreme Speed. Euni comes in, which is going to be the Kilowattrol. I don't have the best switch-ins to Kilowattrol. I will be honest. I've lost my Terra Captain, so I didn't get to Terra. I think we're just going to have to let this go down. I'm going to go for a knockoff just in case, but just in case they set up. But they are going to Terra. What type are they tearing into, though? Because they're probably Volt Absorb, so we can't really go for, you know, a Thunderbolt. The Terra Flying, which is great for them. Not so great for me. There we go. Terra Flying is scary. Uh, they go for a Terra Blast, which is fine. That's going to take us out. Thunderous goes down. Again, no switch-ins. No switch-ins at all. I just don't have a switch-in. Gonna go into Palafin All Might over here. Just to get it um, into its hero form. So now that we've brought it in, we'll hard switch out into Polito, get the rain up. I think that's gonna be useful. If we can get rid of the Killer Watchel, Corviknight actually walls like a lot of that team. So we withdraw our Palafin, we're gonna go into Politoed. Politoed should be able to take a Terrible Last Flying if they cut choice specs, and they should also be able to take a Thunder uh, fun a Thunderbolt. Um, so we go for the Drizzle. If this is our last chance. Palafin's the last chance. They go for a Thunderbolt on the switch. Makes sense. It's going to not KO us, which is great. So we go for a Weather Ball here 100% of the time, just in case. So they go for a U-turn, which isn't going to KO us, which means something's going to get hit by a Weather Ball in the rain, um, which could be the Aloma Mola, to say the least. Let's see what they decide to go into. Undyne comes in. That's going to be the Aloma Mola, right? Yeah, the Aloma Mola comes in. It gets that Regenerator, which is fine. Weather Ball comes through. And that's going to do no damage, which is unfortunate. So, they are Assault Vest. I know that for a fact, because I can just tell. Um, so, what do we do here? I'm leaning towards the All Might switch. Leaning towards the Corviknight switch. I'm going to go for the Corviknight switch, just to hit it on the physical side. And because I know it can't really do much to me other than Scold. So, we're going to Noctis, the Corviknight. Get the pressure exerted. They go for a flip turn, so we're going to get some Rocky Helmet Chip, which is nice. And there's the Rocky Helmet Chip. But they're going to regenerate that back up anyway, so it's no big deal. Um, that Alola Mola is going to be the bane of my existence, though. Definitely going to be the bane of my existence. So they're going to go back into the Kilowattrol. I believe that's Kilowattrol. Yeah, the Kilowattrol. Make it all dark in the room again. And um, we basically have to just sack off Politoed here. Um, that's all I can think to do, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we'll withdraw our Corviknight. We'll go into Polito. We have to sack it off so we can get the Palafin in. So Chubbs is going to come in. 
Like so. They go for a Thunderbolt. And that's going to take us out. Which is fine. I can handle this. So, Chubb's out of the way. We definitely go into Palafin here 100% of the time and we jet punch this thing. That's what we have to do. So, we'll go into All Might. Like so. Zero to Hero, all that wonderful stuff. We go for a jet punch 100% of the time here. They withdraw the Kilowattrel. Are they going to go into the Aloma Mola? Probably, right? Queen Addy. Okay. That's Serena. Nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. We go for a jet punch. And that gets blocked by Queenly Majesty. So that's a good play. It's a real good play right there. Now, they probably go ahead and predict us to go into Corviknight here. And go for a U-turn or a hard switch into Kilowattrel. Because they don't want to take the Rocky Helmet chip from Corviknight. So I reckon I should switch up moves and go for an Ice Punch and KO that Kilowattrel on the switch in. I'm going to do it. They go for a Trop Kick. They are Scarfed, which is interesting. And that's going to lower our attack, which is very unfortunate. So we go for an Ice Punch, and that's not going to two-shot them. So, unfortunately. So let's go into Corviknight now and get some Rocky Helmet chip on this thing. So they withdraw. They're going to go into the, Corvin uh, the Kilowattrel, right? They're going to go into the Kilowattrel. Undyne, yeah. That's the Aloma Mola. Uh, yeah, there it is. The Aloma Mola comes in nice and shiny. Uh, we obviously withdrew. And we decided to go into the Corviknight. So I'm really going to try and get... the. If we can defeat this Aloma Mola and the Serena. Wasn't expecting Choice Scarf Serena. That's for sure. Um, so let's go ahead and... Brave Bird. We go for the Brave Bird. It's going to do a uh, nothing. Nothing at all. Um, as we're damaged by the recoil, they go for a flip turn. They're going to get some Rocky Helmet chip of their own, which is fine. And switch out. I think I, I think if we can leave the Aloma Mola to last, we can get rid of the... Uh, yeah, I think Kilowattrel comes in here anyway. Uni comes in. The Kilowattrel. The rain has stopped, so our jet punches are no longer as powerful. Let's um, go for a U-turn just in case we live, but I don't think we live. They go for a Thunderbolt. That's going to KO us. That's unfortunate. So, critical hit didn't matter, obviously. Corviknight goes down here 100% of the time. And uh, unfortunately, we are going to have to lose this game. So, Palafin comes in. Looking amazing. I love Palafin. I, just, I've, I think I've utilized it wrong this game. There's a lot of mistakes. I've got first game of the season jitters, all right? Leave me alone. <laughs> Let's go for a... They just switch into Serena here to block the jet punch, right? But then again, do we over predict? You know what? Screw it. Let's just go for an ice punch and predict the Serena to come in. They go for a Terra Blast. They should have jet punched. But I don't think jet punch would have KO'd anyway because we're not banded. So, GG Uzi. That was a pretty fun one. Um, I, like I said, first game jitters. So, I think we played a bit poorly there. But my opponent played really well. They made all the right reads. Really good game. GG Uzi. Well, that was it. GG Uzi and the Thunderclap Titans. We obviously lost horrifically. Uzi played super well and prepped way better than I did. So all I can say here is really, thanks for the game. We'll get him next week. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And with that being said, I'll catch you all in a bit.